Welcome back everybody 641 here on daybreak and from the grain elevator to the air conditioning the innovations of western new yorkers have really changed the world a mix of inspiration and creativity and this morning we highlight the creativity of a buffalo auto dealer who as we find out in this unknown story of western new york find a way to take a chevy for a spin not to the lake but on it the Buffalo Transportation and Pierce Arrow Museum is the product of one man's passion. The Silver Arrow is my favorite car ever, ever. A passion for preservation. When I was a little boy, every time somebody tell me something about Buffalo, I had a photocopier, or keep it and put it in a file. I have thousands and thousands of files on Buffalo industry. Founder Jim Sandoro has amassed quite a collection, a lasting tribute to automotive innovations of Western New York. Actually, it dates back to the Thomas Flyer car. Some of the models had a removable hardtop. And the bright idea has also brought the world things like the first fender lamps, windshield wipers, and even a car boat. With all the comforts of traveling over the highway, Mr. Percy Hunt of Buffalo, New York, now goes to sea behind the wheel of a motor car. This decades-old newsreel shows the late Percy Hunt, a Buffalo Chevrolet dealer, showing off his new creation. You might call it an early hybrid, a boat built around a 1936 Chevy. The first seaworthy car, is that safe to say? Well, I don't know how seaworthy it was because he took it all apart and took the whole body and actually installed the body on top of this beautiful uh, Chris Craft type of cutter. He not only used the body, but also the engine and the drive shaft. And what better name for a boat that was created by a guy who sold Chevrolets named Hunt? Well, of course, the Chevy Chase. Whatever the weather, both driver and passengers cruise over the lake with all the comfort of motoring along the highway. Are you ever surprised when you hear stories like this? Well, I really love that because that's what we're here for, is to save all this and bring it to the public and let the public know how great Buffalo was and is, even now, innovation that comes through Buffalo. And as he cut through the waves past the 1930s Buffalo skyline, little did Percy Hunt know that he would also sail directly into the unknown stories of Western New York. That thing really could cut through the waves. Yeah, it's a beautiful boat and a, and a beautiful car. So you combine the best of both and out on the lake certainly got a few uh, glances, I'm sure. Fascinating. Yeah. Very cool, Pete. Thank you.